I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Hello, collectors, and welcome to the Discount Action Figure Dude. I'm your host, Christopher. What to do, what to do. Do we do another probably broken uh, Revel Tech Amazing Yamaguchi bootleg, or do we do a completely legitimate uh, Marvel Legends Ben Riley Spider-Man? I mean, we're going to do them both. It's just, which one do we do now? You know what? Bootleg wins again. So, at least this time. And sure enough, what we have here, uh, my friends, is the uh, Amazing Yamaguchi Spider-Man version 2.0 bootleg. Now, I know the, the 2.0 is... If, if this were a, a legitimate Amazing Yamaguchi, uh, this one apparently does a much better job of hiding the amazing Yamaguchi joints and he poses even better is a bit more ergonomic than your typical amazing Yamaguchi as you can see all of the images for our amazing Yamaguchi our fake ass amazing Yamaguchi I'm, I apologize we are certainly not trying to give the uh, hint that this is a legitimate figure if it's like every other one I got then you just look at look at look at this uh, Iron Spider right here. Let's make sure you can see his face. Because uh, while he is beautiful, he is a holy mess of a figure. Just a mess. But, um, yeah. Let's say, if you don't mind, that we... Oh, my blade is already open. Let's pretend I heard click. Let's cut this bitch open. And here goes Spider-Man 2.0 out of the box. I'm looking... Very strange, which of course is more of a an amazing Yamaguchi thing, less of a bootleg thing, but looking pretty good under the bright lights, I'd say. Uh, yeah, he, with all of his uh, accessories surrounding him, which includes five extra pairs of hands, uh, some web effects, a stand uh, that he has over here, and um, this bag has a bunch of alternate eyes. So, before we get to see what this figure is all about, let's say we take a closer look at Bootleg Amazing Yamaguchi Spider-Man 2.0. And here goes our bootleg uh, Amazing Yamaguchi Spider-Man 2.0. Um, let's say we take a closer look at this guy and see uh, what he's got going on. As you can see, um, I'm, I mean, he looks pretty much the same to me. He doesn't look too much 2.0-ish to me. I mean, I can still see most of his joints, but you know what? They say this is a 2.0. We're going to go ahead and say it's a 2.0. One of the... Oh, wow. That's uncommon. I'm just noticing... I'm moving his legs and his knees, and they're surprisingly smooth. They're almost as smooth as my uh, Amazing Yamaguchi Superman, which is legitimate. <laughs> this is pretty good, actually. I'm a little surprised. Okay, the arms are a little stiff. His head, neck, his movement, his um, neck movement doesn't work too. Doesn't work too. Well, okay, it does move. You know, you want to pose him out. Sometimes you got to lift his leg out and then turn it that way because you know, as you can see, he can kick it up just like a rocket. <laughs> it's. <laughs> Uh, you gotta hand it to Amazing Yamaguchi, even fake ones. Even though, like, again, I'm pretty sure at some point in this guy's life, he was an honest-to-goodness, real Amazing Yamaguchi. 
<clears throat> but as we have said many times, there are a lot of potential points of failure in uh, an amazing Yamaguchi that probably don't uh, pass quality control, which then make it to the bootleggers. And I'm sure this guy is no different. But yeah, he looks, uh, he's doing, he looks pretty good and he is, seems to be moving okay. I have this little pallet back here because it's flat and this floor is uneven. And my man needs all the help he can get to stand uh, up and down. I don't know, he's, he feels good. He does feel good. I give him that. Let's uh, stick some arms and some special effects on this guy. See what's going on there. And here goes old bootleg 2.0 making a, uh, in a, in what I guess you could call a dynamic pose, uh, shooting out some spider webs. He's looking pretty good doing that. That was no trouble. Let's see if we can recreate a, uh, a, uh, a pose from the box. Like, uh, you see, you know, this is, uh, yeah, this is a straight pose right from the box of, uh, old 2.0. Looking good. Okay. <laughs> well, I will say, so far, this is a fairly impressive bootleg. I, I can't lie to you. So far that uh, this thing is... It's funny looking, but of course, again, that's not uh, that's not this figure's fault. That is uh, Mr. Yamaguchi's fault, <laughs> who makes really strange looking action figures. So yeah, that looks uh, it's not a uh, much. This guy can't seem to do. He's looking pretty good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You know, I, I don't know what that is, but <laughs> that is a pose we just made. Let's stick on some more effects, see what's happening. And here goes Bootleg 2.0 in another crazy pose, wearing, uh, sporting some more web effects. Uh, I can see where this is could be kind of fun playing with this guy. And he has yet to break. I am so far pretty impressed with this bootleg. Even my Superman Amazing Yamaguchi can't do all of that. And I am not quite sure what purpose these serve. I'm sure in the real 2.0 it has instructions to let you know. But even on the box there's no uh, hint of what these do. I see it's got these little pegs which, which clearly peg in somewhere. I'm guessing the hands. Uh, if you give me a second we'll see if we can find out. And I believe these are wings of some kind that peg in the back of Spider-Man 2.0. If I am not mistaken, he has little holes in his back. He has these things. I think we figured out what these are. So, yeah. <laughs> Spider-Man 2.0. Yeah, okay. And they seem to work, I guess. I mean, they, again, they look silly. Uh, but, yeah, Spider-Man 2.0. We're, we're kind of impressed by what you're bringing to the table, sir. We're kind of impressed. So naturally, as you well know, we don't assign a value to our bootleg figures, but um, Spider-Man 2.0 bootleg Amazing Yamaguchi is pretty decent. His problem, the problem is that his neck, which is supposed to be highly articulated, doesn't move very well, if at all. You might be able to heat it up, but you know, this thing is supposed to be able to turn and go up and go down. It doesn't do any of that. So... Which it, which could have had this guy sent to the to the bootleg pile, but otherwise everything else on this guy seems to work pretty darn good, not too terrible at all. I mean he doesn't look like that guy. That guy's terrible. He is a he's a holy mess, but this guy is pretty solid. A pretty solid bootleg.